today's lesson i'll be showing you guys how to create this picture in picture effect like this don't forget to subscribe and this and also hit the notification bell down below using final cut pro 10 let's go already have our two videos on our timeline the first one being me talking so that will be our a row let me disable that and see the second video that's a screen recording i did so let me enable it back so with the first method you go to your effect section side under mask you choose shape mask drag and drop on top of your video then go to your parameters over here with the curvature we we'll drag it to the right side to create that ellipse shape and with that let me disable the down video so we can see exactly what we're doing go back to the top video with the feather we change it to zero because we want the hard edges now let's work on the shape i want it to be a little bit more circular form now click on this side to take the keys away from the screen now you can enable the down video by pressing v then click on the top video again go to your transform side and that scale all you can change it to any size that you want with this i'll change it to somewhere 40 percent then click on this box go to your own screen drag it to any place that you want with this i'll drag it to the down corner over here then you can click on the box to take the keys away from the screen now let's see how it looks like so there you go guys that's method one now let's go to method two so we already have our two videos on our timeline you go to your generator side under generators you choose elements elements choose shapes drag it and drop it on your timeline we'll make it the same length with the videos that we have click on the down video press v to disable it for now then we'll click on the shapes then we can play around the parameters over here under fill and take it outline color let's change that to white looks cool with white with the width we change it to 35 and then with the shadow opacity we can drop it down to zero but if you want to maintain it you can leave it like that go to your video inspector side click on this box to bring it out now you can make it as big as you want with this i just want it to cover just the face click down make a duplicate of the shapes by pressing alt and dragging upwards then click on the second down shapes that we have under the blend mode we change it to stencil alpha don't worry we'll work around it soon then then go back to the parameters over here this time around we click on fill to bring it back as you can see it's already showing then click on the first shapes the second shapes and then the top video that we have make a compound clip of it let's say a row now click on the down video press v to enable the clip go back to your a row compound clip that we have then under transform we can change the size to any size that we want let's change it to somewhere 40 percent then you can drag it to any place that you want on the screen with this we'll just leave it somewhere here click on done and then we'll play and see how it looks like so there you go guys if you learned something from this today don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this as always stay safe love you guys peace out